Hey, hey, fam. All right, we are on a special Mother's Day adventure. We are out here at Travertine Hot Springs on a Wednesday night, which is surprisingly quiet. Like, I, um, I think there's one other car in the parking lot. There's one naked dude with a camper van that <laughs> was camping right up there. And, um, yeah, if I had to guess, lower tub is open. But you never know. And then there's some people that were camping out by the, um, on the way in. So, in total, like, five cars here. So, really exciting. Can't wait to soak. And behold, the majesty of the lower tub. All to us. Duke, what do you think of the hot spring being all to us right now? We didn't even have to wait in line for some dirty wooks to get out. What do you think? Oh, he smells the dirty wooks. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, look at it. Looks like somebody's doing a lower tub over there. That's super smart. And we kind of got this one, which is gross, but whatever. So cool to see people working on hot springs out here. Absolutely amazing beauty out here. Uh oh, is Duke getting weird? Duke, don't get in the hot spring. It's crystal clear right now. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see how clear it is. But look at that water. You can like, see the bottom. Usually it's a lot more murky if people are out here. So I don't think anybody is out here at this one right now. And we've got this new one somebody's been digging. That's super cool. Ah, yeah, this one needs some gravel, but it's pretty hard, travertine wise. Good temperature. Needs the algae cleared out of it. But yeah, super freaking cool. All right, fam, so I'm an idiot and forgot the propane, so this is how we're cooking a steak in a rice cooker. Can you cook a steak in a rice cooker with a jackery? That's pretty much what we're trying to test. So i um, letting the butter get all heated up. Uh, it cooks a lot hotter when you put the lid on it, but we're just trying to get it all like started right now. So let's see how that works. All right, so the steak's been going for like five minutes or so, and uh, the butter's looking kind of buttery. It looks like the steak is slow cooking. Oh, jeez, let me get all the light here. And um, it was a discount steak. It was one of those steaks that was like three dollars off. Oh, here, here, here. This dude's hoping. Uh, you want to get out? You can get out, man. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's cooking. It's not going to be the best steak, but it's going to be meat that is edible for human consumption. See, look at that. See, Duke? Yeah, yummy! <laughs> Alright, and the steak looks like it's about done. I'll let it settle before I cut it, and if it's not done, then I'll just keep cooking it. <laughs> Here it is. The rice cooker steak. What does it look like? Is it done? Are we gonna get sick from the rice cooker? Is that how you... No, man. That's well done. Holy crap. That actually looks pretty good for a rice cooker. And then we got the juices in the pot there. So... I'm going to have this with some bread, a sandwich, and probably dip it in the juice that is left over there, and we'll see how it is. Alright, so here is what it looks like all chopped up. We're going to have the bread with the sandwiches, add a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper to those potatoes, which were also cooked in the rice cooker. Yeah, this whole meal was cooked in a rice cooker. And, um... Let's see how it tastes. Good morning, good morning, fam. We are here at Buckeye Hot Springs, all right? And I forgot a hairbrush, which is kind of funny, but whatever. We're not out here long enough for it to be an issue. So there's the sunrise. It's a little bit higher in the sky than I thought it rises. So 
basically um, opened my eyes as the sky was pink, enjoyed it, and I went back to sleep like a normal person. So now I'm going to walk down the hill to Buckeye Hot Springs, and maybe we'll do some time lapses down there, I don't know, I don't know. That's what's about uh, crazy about these adventures is, is I don't storyboard all of my shots, all right? This is all uh, real-time content. Only two cars up here, though, so hopefully somebody is asleep in their car and there's only one person down there. Verbally, <laughs> what I found. I tried to walk on the trail because it wasn't as steep over here, and I spotted two, one, two hot springs at the top of the hill. I did not know these were here. Those are hot. That is a hot spring. That is so cool. And there's a little source from it right there. It's like, you know, normal hot spring temperature, 101, 102. And then over here, let's see. Oh my God. Yeah. This is so darn cool. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this one's way more comfy, like a hundred. Well, this is just amazing, all right? I got the nice view down there. Um, these are just super cool. It's a mud bottom. Um, pretty clear, though. So, I'm not really a big fan of the mud bottom ones. There's the source over there, bubbling away. So darn cool! So, yeah, this is my, like, third time to Buckeye Hot Springs, and I can't believe that <laughs> I've never noticed these hot springs on the side of the hill. <laughs> like, I guess because the steam comes off the one down there, it's so dramatic and everything, but like, dude, these are nice. You have a nice view, and it's like private. So yeah, probably gonna check these out. Rich, if you're watching, Rich, you're watching this. I know you are. We're gonna check out these upper tubs at Buckeye Hot Springs, all right? Get ready for it. All right, fam, we came all the way down here and luckily somebody else is down here and they said it was too cold and I didn't believe them, but that water is like 80 degrees right now, which isn't that fun to soak in. <laughs> so the water's still hot coming off of the travertine out here, but the um, there's just too much flow coming off the creek. And so usually this pond would be lower, but I mean, it's flowing in there. It's flowing in every way. So, back up to the top of the hill. And here is our gorgeous campsite right next to the creek. It is so darn beautiful out here. Just the weather, the temperature, the atmosphere, having like the rush of the water just pounding your ears. And then the juxtaposition between the hills uh, that are barren and the pines. We even got a couple of little like um, alpine trees here. It's absolutely stunning. <sighs> Best Mother's Day trip ever. Well, not ever, but you know. And my hair, oh my gosh, it's so not doing good without a brush. So I definitely may make sure I have a brush all the time. Uh, in like some sort of a to-go thing. I've been thinking about the van and how I want to work on uh, customizing it and getting the uh, like a little kitchen at storage area for everything in place and yeah so um, just enjoying the nature uh, poo bag on the roof no shame hashtag no shame poo bag hashtag pish jug Hash hashtag uh, van life because this is a van, and we're in life. All right, fam, we are now driving over to Travertine Hot Springs. We had some nice oatmeal, it was delicious. And um, yeah, gonna miss these beautiful forests out here. It's so relaxing just hanging out up here. Hey, hey, fam, all right, so we are here. We got our favorite spot, all right? It wasn't available when we showed up, so we just sat in the dirty one over there, which is crazy because a rock from Buckeye Hot Springs showed up for people to sit on. It's crazy how much work's going into that thing. So yeah, I went over there and I like cleared out some gravel and helped reinforce the wall and um, just having fun out here. The people were like 
they were definitely on alcohol and it was hilarious because like he was talking dirty to his old lady and like Mars like right there and like it's it was embarrassing because like he was talking about how I wanted to like make love to her. He didn't use those words, alright? Something about like bending over like this log right here and um she I, I don't know what she her response was, but like to me like the hot springs would be like the grossest place to have sex. Like not because like what you would leave in the springs but what the springs would leave in you and I'll leave it at that so um just really enjoying the day here this is an amazing little Mother's Day trip and I'm so thankful that Mar thought of it or well Xander thought of it but like Mar was the one that made sure that it happened and um yeah just really good um I need to do like some drone footage to try to do some mapping stuff over here. I did Buckeye, but like I didn't go all the way down to the bottom of Buckeye, so like you would have had to wait for like the sun to be at an opportune angle. So it's like you know just future enhancements, and I uh, that's it. Uh... Hey, hey, fam! We are here at the uh, Travertine Hot Springs sign, uh, also known as the Pokestop that is nearest to Travertine Hot Springs. So if you're into Pokemon, oh my gosh, you should totally come out here and play Pokemon! So, um, yeah, Mar, what are we doing? Playing Pokemon. Pokemon. So basically, we're trying to stack as many gifts as we can because one, my brother said, I don't even like hot springs. So we're going to try to send him as many gifts as we can from the hot springs. And then um, two, the other thing that's super crazy is there's nobody at Travertine Hot Springs right now. Like we left and there was two cars left in there and they both have passed us as we sit here. So uh, on a Thursday at 327 in the afternoon, Travertine Hot Springs is empty. So if you're trying to get out here and you want to know the opportune time, it's like right after when people get out of school and I don't know what else, like what, what are the, those people had going on that required them to leave. But come on out here to Travertine Hot Springs. Final message. Poop. Nice.